Hello everyone, in this video we will be going to know about MS Paint software and its special tools. Paint Introduction to Paint Paint is a drawing program that is used to draw and color objects like cartoons, shapes and figures. After drawing the shapes, you can edit them by using different features such as rotate, skew and flip available in Paint. Starting Paint Follow these steps to open Paint. Click on Start button to open Start menu. A list of all applications appears on the left. Click on Windows Accessories. Click on Paint. The Paint program will appear on your computer screen. Paint Software Paint Window Given below is the paint window. Let us know about the different components it has. Quick Access Toolbar On the top left corner, there is a Quick Access Toolbar with some of the most important buttons. Save, Undo and Redo. File Menu Under the Quick Access Toolbar, the first button is the File Menu which opens up the main menu. Tab. Home and View are two tabs in the paint. In the Home tab, you will get all the main image editing tools. In the View tab, you can zoom in or out or see an image in full screen mode. Color Palette. Color Palette is used to select the color you want to work with. It contains Color 1 box and Color 2 box. Color 1 box is the foreground color or active color. When you open paint, the default active color is black. Color 2 box is the background color. When you open paint, the default background color is white. Foreground color or active color. Background color. To change a color, Make sure that its color box is in focus as shown by yellow background. If it is not, simply click on it and then in the palette click on the color that you want. Using various options in paint. Select option. This option is used to select a part or whole drawing. After selecting the drawing, you can move it from one place to another in Paint window. Click on Home tab. Click on the down arrow of Select. Click on Required Select tool. We have selected Rectangular Selection tool. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag diagonally to select the object. Release the mouse button. The dotted rectangle shows that the object has been selected. Move the selected area. Click on the selection and then drag the mouse to move the selection to another area. Release the mouse button. The object will appear in new location. Resize option. Resize is used to change the size of the drawing by making it smaller or bigger. Click on Home tab, click on Select, select the image by dragging the mouse over it. Click on Resize, Resize and Skew dialog box appears. Select the Maintain Aspect Ratio checkbox, select the radio button of pixels. Type the horizontal value width and vertical value height. Click on OK. The new size of the image will appear. Skew option. Skew is used to stretch an image from one end while the other end remains fixed. Click on Home tab. Click on Select. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it. Click on Resize. Resize and Skew dialog box appears. Type the amount of skew in the horizontal and vertical boxes. Click on OK. The image gets skewed by the given value. 
Rotate and flip. Rotate feature will change the position of the picture to different angles. Flip feature will create a mirror image of the picture either horizontally or vertically. Rotate image. Click on home tab. Click on select. Select the image by dragging the mouse over it. Click on rotate. Rotate and flip options appear. Click on rotation for the direction you want. The image gets rotated by the given angles. Original rotates 90 degrees left, rotates 90 degrees right, rotates 180 degrees. Flip image. Repeat the steps 1 to 5 and by clicking on flip options in step 5, the image creates a mirror image by the given options. Original, flip vertical, flip horizontal. Copy and paste. Copy paste is used to copy the image from one place and paste it to another place. You can save your time by using copy and paste image instead of drawing it again and again. Click on home tab. Click on select. Select the image. Click on copy. Click on paste. The image will appear in the drawing area. Now, place the mouse pointer on the selected image and drag it anywhere in drawing area. Cut and paste. Cut paste is used to erase the drawing from its original place and paste it to another place in your drawing area. Click on home tab. Click on select. Select the image. Click on cut. The image will disappear from the drawing area. Click on paste. The image will appear in the drawing area. Now, drag it to place it at the desired place. Crop image. Crop feature of paint lets you see the part of the image you have selected. After cropping, only selected part of the image is visible. Click on home tab. Click on select. Select the part of the image you want to see. Click on crop. Only the selected part of the image appears. Selecting colors using color picker tool. You can pick a color from an open image or color drawing with the color picker tool. This tool enables you to paint using a color already present in your image. The default active color is black. Click on the color picker tool, place the tool over an open image and click to select the color in the tip of tool. The active color will change with color you have selected with color picker tool. Click on fill with color tool. Click inside the object where you want to color. The object is filled with the colors you have selected with color picker tool. Zoom in and zoom out. The zoom tool is used to get the bigger and closer view of the image. You can use zoom in and zoom out features to see a larger or smaller view of your image respectively. Click on view tab. Click on the following options. Click on zoom in to increase the zoom level. Click on zoom out to reduce the zoom level. Click on 100% to see the actual size of the image. The image appears according to the option you have selected. In this example, we have chosen zoom in option. Ruler grid lines and full screen by clicking on ruler option in view tab rulers appear along the top and left edges of the image canvas it helps in aligning image or adjusting an image to a specific size by clicking on grid lines option in view tab grid lines appear overlaying the paint drawing area it helps in placing text or other graphics in exact locations. 
By clicking on full screen option in view tab, the image or graphic will appear in full screen mode. Drawing. You must save your drawing file so that you could view it or modify it in future. Follow these steps to save your drawing. Click on file menu. Click on save option. The save as dialog box appears. Type the name for the image in file name text box. Click on save button to save your image. The file will be saved. Saving drawing in different file formats. Paint can save your drawing in multiple file formats such as JPEG, PNG, BMP and TIFF. Click on file, click on save as, click on any file format. The save as dialog box appears. Type the name for the image in file name text box. Click on save button to save your image. The file will be saved. Thank you everyone. Like the video, subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell.